reason we chose Pervasive for our integration solution is we needed something that was fully embeddable and had a breadth of connectors so that we could get out and hook up to a bunch of different data sources. Pervasive provides a key part of our go-to-market strategy for large organizations who need unique uh, connectivity capabilities. My favorite you know, components of functionality within Pervasive are, first of all, the number of connectors. They have databases and web services and uh, interfaces to uh, COBOL. Um, so we really have not come across a situation where we've not been able to use a connector that's a native connector. Uh, so Quick Connect um, is, a, is an offering that um, allows us to do um, SaaS to anything, which is what uh, our company positions now. And it's a competitive differentiator for us. Um, we now can say to any client uh, who has an integration need, um, come to us, yeah, we, we can integrate with anything that you've got. For Expandable as a company, um, it's again, it's getting back to um, fundamentally having a, a platform to work with that we can integrate many uh, different enterprise uh, applications together and bring, in, bring it into uh, you know, data back and forth from Expandable out to Salesforce, or from Expandable out to Right90, or to a warehousing uh, module, and it, it all becomes uh, seamless for our end customers. I've been adapted for over seven years now, and as a software as a service vendor, uh, an on-demand solution, uh, a challenge has always come up to be able to integrate with other line of business applications and so many of these sort of mission critical line of business applications that are a system of record, a lot of them are behind a firewall. And now software as a service solutions, on-demand solutions such as Salesforce and Receive On Demand, and now you have you know, Microsoft and you know, Dynamics, uh, where financial data is stored, trouble ticketing data, issue management data is out there. I need a solution that allows me, one, to be able to say, yes, we can integrate. There are you know, 150 or more pre-built connectors to systems that you know, we may or may not ever need to integrate with, but the ability for me to say, yes, we can. In the real world out there is, uh, although there are connectors into applications, the, the APIs are generally not as robust as we need them to be. So we have to be very uh, adept at moving away from maybe the API that the application gives us and going behind the screens and uh, putting in data in the database or maybe reverse engineering some XML. Um, and uh, you know, we know that if we purchase Pervasive and we're using Pervasive, we have all those different uh, you know, arrows to, to use. It's not just here's a connector and this is the only thing you can use. So you've got tons of different alternatives with using Pervasive. Our focus has been very much in healthcare on how do you mine information out of content. So we go after transcriptions, discharge summaries, HMPs. We're mining clinical key concepts and values out of discrete patient or out of patient records or patient narratives, I should say. And uh, a lot of that work, as much as people think it's done with our text analytics solution, that's not the case. It's we do a lot of that. We, we have to prep a lot of it with pervasive in advance of even moving it into. Uh, the world of how do we then uh, extract in context. So uh, we have our own uh, data warehouse uh, product and we use a uh, pervasive data integrator to re uh, retrieve uh, source data from Oracle SQL Server or some other system to uh, load into our database system. There's a lot of information that can flow from their HR system into our system. So they want more sophisticated integrations and some of them have big time HR systems. Some of them have SAP, some of them have PeopleSoft. So they are asking us to do those integrations. Specifically, we, what we tried to integrate was uh, we had a JD Edwards uh, CRM ERP system on, uh, at Dermalogica. And uh, we needed uh, somehow to uh, send that data, uh, some of our account data, uh, sales numbers, um, sales volume, uh, to um, Salesforce, our business consultants are making changes to, uh, as they make changes to JD Edwards, that data is sent straight to Salesforce. In an ecosystem of a university, there are often large ERP systems, scheduling applications, facility management software, uh, document verification tools. So for example, 
one integration we have is to the BANA AR system. This is the accounts receivable system. All of our clients stage events, which in turn generate invoices and generate revenue for the university. Being able to automatically create those invoices through our application and feed that into an accounting system, a bona fide accounting system, uh, was key. And that's an integration we're able to accomplish with Pervasive. Uh, we have another integration to a system called Famous. It's a facilities management software suite. And that integration has to do with generating work orders on the fly from our application or syncing the room inventory in both systems. That's another integration we're able to achieve with a pervasive integrator. Each of them has their own challenges. Uh, they have very diverse uh, applications from NetSuite to JD Edwards to Macola ERP. The, the biggest benefit that the data integrator provides is the uh, it allows to take any different formats and convert it into some some other format. So the approach we took was we came up with our own standard structure that our system can understand and is configurable and can process. And then we use the data integrator tool to actually convert all the different formats into that one standard format. We learned a long time ago that if you force the file formats on our particular trading partners, either on the client side or on what we call our extract side on our insurance carriers, that the challenges of their IT services on their, on their um, resources were just limited and was one of the reasons that they were uh, um, accessing our services. So we decided a long time ago to provide the flexibility that we would meet their formats. The fact that it really doesn't matter what somebody you know, has, they, and I've got this file, I, you know, I need to be able to transform it to something else. And like, eh, don't worry about it, I got it covered. You know? We know that we can actually connect to a lot of different data sources. We are not worried about what different databases are they, are they using DB2, are they using Oracle, are they using Stratify. So we have some level of confidence when we go to a new client, even without knowing all the different data sources. We know we have a product and we have a framework which can pull in those disparate systems and actually uh, push it into our application. Having built-in web services is great because you can develop APIs to, to reach out to that and touch our clients' endpoints regardless of their application or platform. So being platform or product agnostic is a great thing. So what it ended up doing for us, um, number one, it helped us with our sales cycles because we could go in and when people said, hey, do you, can you integrate with X? We say, well, we can integrate with pretty much anything now because we have pervasive.